This is Sean Naylor with the Vale Daily, and I'm here at All Points North Lodge in the Cordillera at Next Gen Hyperbaric with Olympia and Nina O'Brien. Thank you for having me Hi, today. Thanks for coming. So we are here today because Nina, of course, you know, had, had an incredible run all the way up until this Beijing Olympics, and then you, you had your traumatic crash on February 7th. If we could go back to that time, just kind of Talk about what was going through your head like that day. On the day of the GS race in Beijing, I woke up feeling really confident and I was just trying to stay relaxed. I, of course, wanted to do really well and I really believed that I was capable of having a great result. Um, but at the same time, I was trying to enjoy the day, um, keep it as simple and almost as normal as possible. So I was feeling, I think, all the emotions of being at the Olympics and the significance of that day and, you know, getting in that start gate, certainly, um, you know, the first time for me racing at the Olympics and there was a lot of emotion there. Um, but I really wanted to sort of put aside any fear or pressure or expectations and go for it. Um, and I think I was really able to do that. I mean, I had a great first run, better than um, I even felt like I was skiing. I was pleasantly surprised to see the result, but I think that gave me even more confidence because I felt like I had a few mistakes in my first run, so I felt like there was even room to improve. Um, I was sitting in sixth after the first run, and then we had this long break in between the first and second run. It was about five hours, which is unusually long. Um, and I felt very relaxed. I was trying to stay um, just loose and not think too much about the results. And really my mentality was just to go for it for the second run, which I think, you know, at the very least I can say I did that. Um, I've had races in the past where I felt like I didn't give it my all and that's a pretty um, awful feeling at the bottom knowing that you had more that you didn't show. So I wanted to put it all out there and uh, Unfortunately, I was skiing well, and I vividly remember the end of the course feeling like I was getting a little bit behind the line and the tempo was stacking up on me. Um, and then I don't actually remember what caused the crash. That part happened very quickly, but uh, I remained, I would say, pretty lucid and aware of everything that was going on through the fall and thereafter. Um, went to a hospital in Beijing that was just shut down for Olympic athletes, so it was very empty, everyone, it was part of our COVID bubble over there in Beijing. Um, and I was allowed to have one person from the US ski team or US OPC with me, so I wasn't there completely alone, which was really nice. Um, I had surgery the night of my fall to stabilize, I had a compound fracture, so basically they lined everything back up, um, put me in an external fixator just to get me stabilized. And then um, from thereafter, I was just recovering in the hospital for, I think, two days. I then moved to a hotel in Beijing where I was with um, my USC team coaches and staff, which was really nice. <laughs> it was, felt good to get out of the hospital and see uh, my team again. Mm -hmm. And then I made the journey from Beijing to Tokyo, to Dallas, to Denver, uh, <laughs> which was a little bit uncomfortable, yeah. But um, I did fly with some teammates who carried all my bags and they were great to me. And I would say uh, everyone on the airlines was, you know, super helpful and took wonderful care of me. So uh, it felt awesome to get home though, that's for sure. Well, let's bring it out here. We're out here in Edwards. Mm -hmm. We're, we're here with this this oxygen hyperbaric treatment. What made you want to take this route to your recovery? Uh, well, it's a lot of physical therapy um, sessions in the chamber mm -hmm. here. And, you know, right now I'm in the stages where I'm trying to get my mobility back in my joints, uh, need my bones to heal, and then, you know, before I can get back on snow and doing uh, what I love, I really have to get strong again. So uh, it's a long way to go, but I'm in the best of hands. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about the team I have around me and uh, getting back on snow. Are you looking to get back into competition? Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think my goals haven't changed at all. Like awesome. certainly this is a bump in the road and a challenge I have to overcome, but uh, the end goal is still the same. And hopefully in four years or 
you know, whenever I'm back in that starting gate and I'm even better than I will have ever been. So, yeah. So we should be looking to see Nina back in the Olympics? Uh, hopefully. I mean, I'm hoping there's a good redemption story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>